Hi, Pat here again. Uh, today I'm going to comment on yet another Harry Reasoner video. Um, always controversial and interesting. Um, when uh, Harry was recently on the uh, trek on the Bruce Trail, he came across uh, a plaque uh, describing the, uh, the ge geology of the area. And on that plaque was a, uh, a date for the age of that area, I believe the rock strata or something like that. And the date was defaced, uh, it was scratched out. And Harry took exception to that, and uh, rightly so, I think. Um, vandalism is vandalism, it doesn't matter what the cause is. Um, and he made a few assumptions I want to talk about. And, um, one assumption that he made was that it was because it was probably uh, because it was the name was scratched out and it didn't have you know something like FU across the top of it, it probably wasn't a young person. It's probably an, an adult. That was his first point that he made. And the second point was uh, that uh, given that they've scratched out the name of the or the date of the age uh, claimed that it was uh, religiously motivated probably uh, by uh, some young earth creationist and I would um, on that I would tend to agree uh, more than likely it was religiously motivated uh, this the, the other point though uh, that you thought it wasn't done by a young person well I disagree strongly with that um, as you know you know all young people uh, are very um, can be very high strung and intense in their feelings and expressing them. Um, you, you've seen that during the 70s with the, um, the anti-war riots, etc. Um, wisdom doesn't always ensue and um, quite often they go too far and um, uh, the top end of that is they become extremists. So, um, I, I personally think that a, 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 um, a devout Christian young person would not definitely not right F you something like that across the sign because it it goes against their beliefs you know, if they, if they go to church and they're taught not to talk like that so why would they do that um, of course you have exceptions but on the whole I would, I would suggest no um, I would just say that it was done by a young person who is probably a young earth creationist uh, who has a little more um, uh, conviction than wisdom. Uh, he then went on to make the um, uh, the um, example of well, why why only scratch out the, the the date and not the whole thing and and while you're at it what why why not abandon your car which was created through science and why not take your clothes off which was created through science etc etc why pick and choose and just pick this part of science and, and not that part? Well, mate, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with um, rejecting certain aspects of science and accepting others. Um, I'm sure that if I if I wanted to um, do some research with you, that I could find areas of science that you disagree with, people in science that you agree with on some points and disagree with other points. Uh, Ken Miller, for example, is a devout Catholic. You've quoted him many times um, because he's an evolutionist, but he He's a, he's a devout Catholic and I'm sure you, uh, you would disagree on his views on Catholicism. In fact, I know you do. Um, you know, do you, um, you know, as we all know, you really do detest all forms of religion and you've expressed it many times clearly, yet uh, you, as far as I know, you celebrate Christmas or you, you observe the holiday and um, I, I don't know much about that, but I just wonder, do you, do you have a tree? Do you, do you have a Christmas tree? Do you, do you give presents at that time of the year? You know, So aren't you picking and choosing what part of religion to accept and what part not to accept? Um, I'm not, I'm not uh, condemning you for that. Um, I'm just saying that um, picking and choosing is okay. Um, you know, you, you said at the end of your video, perhaps you're tired and you're cold and you're, you're reading too much into it. I think you may be, you may be right there, mate. That uh, is a long walk for an old man with a sore knee. So I, I, um, 
I hope you uh, come back with from that all right and refreshed and enjoyed that uh, that trip. And uh, thanks for listening.